Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install a very interesting model which is based on a very interesting architecture. That architecture is a Mamba architecture. I have done various videos on this Mamba and I'm still surprised and for the life of me, I cannot really understand why this architecture is not catching up. Maybe it is a resource constraint, but anyway, this new model is from nvidia it is mamba vision l3 5 21 k which we are going to install but before that let's talk a bit more about this architecture so mamba vision is a model from nvidia that has been designed specifically to improve computer vision tasks like image classification object detection and segmentation it combines the strengths of two powerful architectures first is transformer and the other one is state space models or SSMs. Transformer for modeling global patterns in data through self-attention and Mamba which is based on SSM and an efficient alternative that processes sequences quickly by modeling data in a stepwise fashion without complex attention mechanism. In very very simple words, a state space model treats data processing as maintaining and updating an internal state where each step in a data sequence such as words in a text or patches in an image update the state in a straightforward and fast way. This gives Mamba linear processing speed making it faster and less computationally expensive compared to traditional transformers which analyze all elements simultaneously through self-attention with quadratic complexity. But when it comes to vision tasks like understanding images, pure Pamba models usually fall short because images benefit greatly from having global context, which is speciality of mainly this attention based models. And this is where this Mamba vision is trying to help out because it is blending these two approaches efficient linear speed Mamba blocks to quickly and efficiently encode visual details and transformer attention blocks at later stages to add the necessary global context and long range connection. So enough theory let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute's website who are sponsoring the VM and GPU. And I will also give you the discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please do check them out. And now let me install all the prerequisites which include Torch, Transformers, and then few other things, especially if you look at the end, we have to install this Mamba Vision library. And this is going to take three to four minutes. So let's wait. And meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And now I'm going to launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let me download the model. And the model has been downloaded. Let's do the inference now. So in the first example, we are giving it this image from this URL. And then we are running the tokenizer and then getting the model to do the inference on top of it. And once we run it, we expect this model to do the image classification as which class it belongs to. So let me run this. And there you go, the image class or the predicted class is brown bear, Bruin, Ursus, Actors. And if you com compare it to this image, which I just showed you, it is spot on. And if you are wondering what exactly is this Bruin and Ursus Arctos. So Bruin is another name for a beer which is normally used in uh, some literature. I think it comes from Dutch language. And then the third one, the Ursus Arctos is, I believe uh, comes from Latin. It's a scientific name for the brown beer. Okay, now let's use it with a couple more examples. 
and now i am using it with my local image so this is a clock and then you can see it says analog clock if i quickly show you the vram consumption it consumes around 6.7 gig of vram for image classification next let's use this image and i'm going to run it there you go it says alp i think it's just got the mountains here the alpine very interesting i was hoping it would say some human or something but anyway it might be just the data set another cool thing about this model is that you can also do the feature extraction with this model when we say feature extraction what it means is to use a trained model not to classify or just label data directly but to obtain meaningful numerical representations or features of the input data so what we are going to do in this case we will be using the same image and then we will extract the feature by using this code so let me go and run this code and it was fairly quick so if i go down this these are the features which it has uh, extracted from this image so this primarily is outputting the feature map uh, and the sizes where you can see that it is saying that this would be the image for this many features so primarily the brown bear and all the other features are represented as these numerical vectors so that's pretty much it pretty responsive um, and pretty performant model i would say for image classification and feature extraction you can also use it for segmentation let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching